and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to make a quick update of my um, project plants from the beginning of June this year of 2020. Yeah, we're going to start with this one. This is Angrecum leonis, the lion-shaped uh, Angrecum. It's a, yeah, it's a miniature orchid still and yeah it had lost one leaf after being converted to semi-hydro a little bit of river rock and some lecker beans in and also made a few holes in here so the water can run out from the holes here but um you can see that that the, the leaves are a little bit wrinkly but they're they're doing better now And I can spray it a little bit with um, with my orchid mist that keeps keeps it a little bit hydrated. No, yeah. I, I think it's gonna manage. It's growing. The leaves are getting larger, even though it's quite wobbly in its part. And I try to stake it up, but. It's quite difficult to make it stay in place. I'm not really sure how to mm, do it, but um, yeah, yeah it's, it's wobbly. It doesn't really matter what I do. So I would just be careful with this guy and not touch it too much. All right, but I, I think it's going to manage. It's going to be a great plant of this, out of this, after a while. Yeah? And then... Back to my poor Cycopsis, Mariposa Green Valley, which has, has given me a lot of beautiful flowers in the past. And all of a sudden it just decided to die on me. Well, well, the leaves, I kept the leaves, they were terrible even when I reported it, but, um, or converted it to semi-hydro from sphagnum moss. But it's still got its new growth here. And on the other side, one more growth. And a larger growth underneath here, but I'm not sure if this one is going to make it. But, but at least the growths are, um, are developing quite nicely and they are growing. So, yeah. All right, I think it's going to suck the energy out of these leaves before they fall off by themselves. I'm not gonna take them away, cut them away or anything. Okay, that was that. And now, back to my paw, Phalaenopsis mariae. Link in the description below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The last leaf. You can see how it looked before. I just wonder what was going on in here. Uh, this is what's been going on. So, the only root it had left, it's, yeah, it's now gone. So, the plant is dead, but um, I expected it to be like this, this way. Not much of a plant, it never was vigorous for me. This one is my RSC Village Cheap Harmonic Crystal, the small one that I also have, and I converted it to into semi-hydro with some charcoal, lake beans, and some river rock. And let's see if it's yeah, that's stiff. The root is still stiff. It looks so ugly in the color coloration. Uh, yeah, what happened to this guy? The leaves are still wrinkly. It really needs a new root system. And here you can see the latest growth, as you saw in my previous video. That, that leaf was covered with scale. And it, yeah, it fell off one week after the reporting. And here I can see it's been trying to shoot out an eye or a new growth. But this one is not going to make it. So the future is going to lie on this growth somewhere. I can see an eye here. 
little eye. Well, it really needs that guy. It really needs an eye. Now, since it's been rotting off. Well, it's not dead yet and it must have a few roots left still functioning. Otherwise the leaves would have been even more wrinkly. So I'll just wait and see with this guy. Wait for a new root system and a new growth. And it could be fine. But back to something that really did work. Because it was transformed into semi-hydro right in the right time and the right growing stage. This is my RLC Shanfong Apple Jade, the one with the beautiful flowers, the frilly flowers with some green and some white. Well, anyways, the new growth has been growing on nicely now. And the beautiful short roots that was coming out are down there, already down there. They were so short, it was only two centimeters long. And now it's down there in the bottom of the pot, seeking down to the water. And you can see some, some new root tips here. And they are really, yeah, it's even one more long root here. And it's seeking its way down to the, to the bottom of the pot where the water lies. And yeah, it's doing fabulous. So, yeah, that was it for today. And yeah, I will keep you updated so we can see the progress and the four plants that made, made it, so to speak. This one is due to the bin, unfortunately. All right. See you next time. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like my channel. And have a good day. Bye-bye.